Hello YouTube, it's Rob, One Strange Journey, and we're in a different location today. We're in my bedroom, and we're going to modify the lights in here. We're going to replace all the lights in here. And I wanted to make some changes in here. I wanted to put a whole new lighting system in. These stock ones, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. One of them went out. I just decided, let's just upgrade all the lights in the bedroom. I did reach out to the folks at Blue Fire, and they sent me some lights to review. We're going to install these puppies and put them in and see what we think, see if they're any good. And I'll let you see what they look like when it's all fully installed. I did buy two separate ones because I wanted these little uh, spotlights in the back, but everything else is going to be blue fire for these four and the ones underneath the cabinet. So let me show you what I got now. I'm sure most of you have something similar to this. I got these four lights here. These are the factory ones. And then I have a couple underneath here. Right next to Luna. Say hi, Luna. Yeah, she's watching squirrels right now. We got these little guys here too. And then I do have the same thing over here underneath the bed and there's a switch for each one of those there that operate those ones independently. Yeah, they're not bad. There's nothing wrong with them. I wanted something that was dimmable. So this will be a nice upgrade. Let's see what these look like and go from there. This guy here is going to go in the back. Let's start with these. Here's what we get in the box. You got some pretty simple instructions, just two wires and it comes with all the screws and all the electrical uh, fittings. You got a little remote switch. I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see what that's all about once we get them installed. This is what these lights look like. So these lights are going to go over here underneath the cabinet. It does have three. I only need two. I may install the third one if I want to do be fancy, or I may just keep one as a spare or find somewhere else for it. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty nice. There's two wires and you got three of those. So we'll set those. I'm telling you, back when I owned my house, I just, I love doing little renovations. I love replacing fixtures and upgrading things. And you can do the same on the RV. A lot of this stuff is pretty simple and it makes a big difference on how the, how your place looks. Okay, these lights are the ones I want above the bed. They're dimmable also. So we'll take a look. Here's what they look like. Let's take one out. These ones feel kind of nice. It's got a little mirror effect here. Here's your dimming. And I think you can change the, the heat of the bulb, you know, like from the bright orange to the bright white light. That'll be pretty handy. Let's take a look. Let's see what it takes to get them installed. Let's see what this guy comes with. So there's a, this is a four pack. And I'll have links in the description for all this stuff. So if any of it looks interesting to you, you can go on the old Amazon and take a look and see if it's something that might suit your needs. We do got a four pack of these guys and I like how, look how they all match with that little bit of a mirror effect to them. They all kind of go together. Nice and simple, a little two wire. It is labeled up on here. It says red positive, black negative. So that's nice. And again, we got some instructions and another another light switch. The thing about this is if you're in an RV that doesn't have light switches, turn lights on and off, you got this to use instead. And we got all the hardware we need. So sweet. All right, let's get started with the ones that are underneath over here. Okay, so let's start with these little guys under here. This will be hopefully be simple enough. First thing I'm going to do is turn the light switch off. I've seen other uh, safety sallies say you need to disconnect your battery. I don't get it. If I turn the power off here, you're not going to get no kinky hair out of this. So do what you want, though. Don't do what I say. If you want to go ahead and uh, disconnect the battery just to be sure, ain't no shame in it. So do what you, do what you got to do. Okay, let's see how these come off. Okay, so they unthread off. As you can see here, you got three Phillips head screws on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get those going. There's probably a better way they come out. Ow! Oh, that hurts. There's probably a better way they come out. Ow! Oh, that hurts. Oh, it's like a mouse trap. Oh, right on the knuckles. Oh, damn it. Oh, that hurt. Boy, I'm, all right, let me, uh, I'll lick my wounds later. Okay, you got the red and the white. Here's what we're gonna be replacing it with. And it's just white and white. So I guess we'll do this the old fashioned way and we'll just plug them both in and uh, see if one way works and one way doesn't, huh? Tell you what, you hear that? Been having all sorts of geese doing what appears flying north. 
Mm, get it. I'm still new to this northern uh, territory, but even us southerners used to always hear that the geese fly north for the winter. And if my math is correct, being it's somewhere in the later parts of January. Winter ain't over yet. Here's the buttons we have. We have off and on. That works. We have, it says sleep. Ah, there you go. That changes the color. So super white, super yellow, mixture, back to blue. Okay. It looks like we can go brighter or dimmer. Very nice. Let's get the other one put on here and uh, we'll go ahead and see what they look like installed. I'm going to go ahead and let me just make sure. Yep, there we go. All right, so that's the master power turned back off. Again, unscrew this. Do the knuckle breaker this time. Where are those? Those are like little mouse traps. I see you, mother. Not gonna get me this time. Someone in the comments can tell me how you're supposed to do this without hurting yourself. Uh, ow! Still. This is interesting. Let me show you something I just noticed. So I take the remote here and go boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. All right, let's see what we're working with here. These guys got to be about the same. Let's turn off that. Oh, much better. Oh, I can see. Okay, give her a shot. All right, that's the way it goes. So, my mind black goes to white, red goes to black, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these. I'll show you the end product once again. Turn light switch off. You're good. Unless somebody wants to tell me different on how that's not how it works. Oh man, we're back to the whack-a-mole ones. Jesus! That is freaking scary. Alright, I think, see these flappers, they're gonna come down like that real quick. So I'm gonna hold it on the side. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna close my eyes. Alright, that's how you want to do it. Ooh, lots of wire there. Well, I guess I'll find that screw later when it stabs me in the back. Speaking of, where'd the other screws go? Test these guys out. All right, looks like they all work. Now we'll go ahead and install them pretty simple. Just got two bolts on this one. Hoping that's big enough to cover up the holes. That'd be a bummer. Boy, it's just barely big enough to cover up the hole. We're all learning this together because I'm no expert, haven't done this before. All right, that's good. That's the most important part is getting it lined up right. Not the most important part, but it's pretty critical. So now let's test it out, see how they work. All right, that looks pretty good. Let me get the remote out here. Huh. We're on day two now. I know I should have finished it yesterday, but I didn't. But we got the lights all done. I'll show you those when we finish here. I want to do the last little bit of lights up over there. Got these little spotlight things. They're they're pretty small. They're little they're little guys. They're uh, they're smaller than I thought they were gonna be, but I think they'll work just fine. They're nice metal ones. I'll put a link in the description if you like them too. But uh, I did purchase these ones off of Amazon. Rocky, hush up. I'm gonna have to do some modification. Problem I have is. As you can see, what's Rocky looking at? Rocky, what are you doing? What, 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 what? Those holes up there, they're bigger than this. This would go up in the hole there. I got these little discs, metal discs off of the eBay. Kind of funny how you, what you can find on eBay. I'll put that up first and then this up on that and mount it. The hard parts I'm gonna have to drill holes through and this is considerably thick, thicker than I thought it was gonna be. This morning, we're gonna try to get these guys hooked up and uh, installed and That'll, then I'll give you a full review. We'll take a full look at the lights after that. So we need to get this on here.
kind of see what I did here. I just bolted this on through this little plate. Hopefully, if you don't have big holes, you won't have to go through all this drama. The wires are gonna simply come through right here and then this will bolt on. So I'm gonna go give it a shot and I'll let you know if it worked. Ugh. Make sure that's off. Now let's test it. Yep, now we're good. Now we're good. I was just thinking right before that happened. Hope these are off. I think it's still f***ing on. Man. Hmm. Like, apparently, it stays on. Dang it. Let's see, do we get light? I was looking at it, I wasn't seeing light. All right, we got light. Beautiful. I'm gonna do the other side. As you can see, I blew a fuse and I electrocuted myself. So, that sucks. I think that's the one, let's see. Yeah, it definitely looks blown. Slide new one in, that little light being on kinda tells us when we got a blown fuse. Boom. Okay. Should be good now. Let's try not to get no kinky hair, huh? And I'll show you what she all looks like when she's done. All right, y'all, it's been about a week now and I've been using these lights and I'll tell you what, this has been a great upgrade. I'm happy I did it. Let me go through a few things. So these do do the different shades. See how it goes blue, real blue, and there's your gold. This one's your mixture and that's the pure white. And you do got different levels of brightness on these lights too, which is pretty cool. Same thing goes for the ones underneath here. Let me go through them with you. They go blue, bright white, and then your nighttime gold color. These are good for the evening. That bright white is more your daytime color. This is when you're just trying to settle down more at night. And then there's a mixture if you want something in between. So that's pretty cool. And these blue lights are real nice. You don't want it pitch black in the room so you can get up and get down, but you want to go to sleep. So blue lights really help out when you do that now. I was having issues with the remote, as you remember in the last video, because I would sit here and I'd, I'd press one, then I'd go to press another, but it would turn on this one, and I was going... What I've learned is my sister has a fan that has these little remotes, and she has the exact same issue. It, it, it's not the light's fault. It's just this little thing sends out a beam of something. Everything picks it up. So you got to be a little more specific. You just kind of get it nice and close. You know, if you, you just kind of get it close what you want to do now i can even sit in bed from here you know and i can control like watch see i can control just that uh, it's both of them so you just got to kind of monkey with it when you're laying in bed you don't want to get up at least you have a fight and chance to control the light these little remotes they send out that beam everything's picking it up so love these lights they look real cool when they're off it's nice to have the option just to go all blue let me show you real quick I'll go all blue on them. There we go. You see how you can turn it all blue in here though? Pretty nice when you're just nighttime, trying to get chilled out. And even these guys up here, you tap them like this, off, blue. Let's see, off, blue. I mean, this is pretty sweet. Let me show what I'm looking at. You know, it's just like this in here. It's all blue, even up here. It's still too blue to go to sleep. When it's evening time, you just want to relax and go on your computer. I really like that blue light. It's and it's not like your kids' blue lights where they got a little rope going all the way around the room and they got all sorts of goofy colors. This is like grown up neon lights to kind of chill out to. It wasn't a hard upgrade to do and it really just it changed, especially the nighttime vibe in the room. You know, I like these little spotlights, like the, the factory lights just glared in your face. You couldn't dim them at all. So. It's a pretty nice upgrade. I want to do the rest of the RV, but I got 18 freaking lights to the rest of the RV. It's going to cost some money. I don't know when I'll get to that. This is the main room because this is my domain. This is where I hang out. It's comfortable. Again, I just want to finish this up by saying we've been trying the lights for about a week now. And I, I love them. They're great. Have had no issues. Only issues with the remote and that's the technology because it's shooting its little beam up there and things happen. So... I don't know if they're ever going to be able to fix that unless they come up with a different way of doing it. If you found any of this helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a like. 
If you'd like to subscribe, I love doing RV mods. So I do our, a bunch of RV mods. I talk nothing about, just about RV life. That's pretty much all my videos. And I like to vlog and show our crazy little life. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.